Hello everybody and we are still at the Me Hotel in London for the May Vinci launch um, but we're joined here by Andrew Reynard of Atom Detailing. Now Andrew, tell me, when did you start detailing? Um, it'll soon be six years in April. Crikey. So. Yeah, so I've done the whole progression that I think everybody's done. They've done the weekend warrior, do the best you can do on your drive, then you go mobile and now I've had a unit now for two years. Wow. And are you enjoying it still? That's key. Yeah, it's great. I mean, it keeps changing. We keep adding more and more services. We keep just growing what we're doing. Um, and yeah, things are looking good. And um, Atom Detailing is based in Sheffield. In Sheffield, it? that's right. Whereabouts in Sheffield for those who are looking? Pretty much just bang in the middle. It's five minutes one way to the centre, five minutes down to Meadowhall, which a lot of people know. And uh, we're here, you're here obviously on the May Vinci Day, and we were talking about it and saying, you know, what, what motivated you to come all the way to London, go through the visa process, or the travel, yeah. and all the rest of it. Um, and the answer was that the May Vinci do a self healing coat. Yeah. So you're looking to get the G Technic accreditation, which you've used. That's right. You've used yeah. their products and you like the products. Yeah, we've been using G Technic from the start, really, from five years, something like that. We've been doing those, those coatings. Perfectly happy with them. That's why I'm happy to get their accreditation. But the self healing is, is what it's all about now. And that's what we're, we're particularly interested in today as well. And there are a couple of companies that do self healing, not very many, as to be said. Um, but FenLab is, is the obvious one that quite a few people right. are doing. And I've not heard one bad word said against it, which yeah. is quite something in our industry where people do like to use bad words against yeah. things. Um, and so it's May Vinci and FenLab. Now you said you've tried to get in touch with FenLab, but there haven't been much feedback. Yeah, I mean, yet. from what they said to me, there's been about 350 applicants. So they, I think I got in just before they, they closed it off. Yeah. So I guess they're just w working the way through everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just hanging in there, but until that, you know, we'll see what this one's going to be. And I think it's really important for a professional detailer to have that kind of due diligence element. Um, yeah. To be looking what's on the market. And we've got some guys here who are Fen Lab group. We've got some guys who are G-Technic accredited. There are people all over the place. And it's really about seeing as the development's grown. I'm sure G-Tech will bring out some self-healing at some point. Yeah, at some point. They've just brought out one that's designed. It's more flexible for PPF and to yeah, go on Halo, top of yeah. the Halo one. So quite interested to look into that. We're looking to do more PPF work, get into colour change rapidly. In, so that should work great if, uh, you know, when we get our hands on that. That would be cool. In fact, we did an interview with Rob of G Technic, which will be on the channel, or it either is already or it will be. Um, and we were talking about the Halo day. Just it was actually on the launch day for the right. UK. It was quite something. Um, and so, where do you see, from your point of view, you're running a unit-based detail, yeah. you're doing high-end stuff. Are you working on your own at home? Um, we've had someone work with me for about six or eight months. So that's good. It's short in my days. No more 9 a.m. till midnight. But uh, yes, I think that's really important. And I quite rightly know a lot of the PPD guys are saying, Look, I'm, I'm to capacity. I'm covering my bills, and I'm yeah. just about making a wage. But I'm working silly hours. Quite often, you know, suddenly people want to start doing breeding and stuff. So they, right. that kind of takes time out. Have you done breeding before? No, no. It, it takes a lot of time. It's quite yeah. expensive as well, I've been yeah. told. Um, and so it's a matter of how can I make my business more efficient. Now, some people can just charge more and do right. less. Um, which works until you realise it's a very competitive market right. and there are a lot of people out there who, yeah, they want quality but yeah. they're still not going to pay silly money just for a reputation. Right. Um, or you employ, and I, I'm a big believer in employing because ultimately yeah. you are limited by the number of hours you can work. Yeah. Whereas if you bring people on, and as you say, under your wing for nine months, I'm guessing you've been training him or her, right? Yeah, I mean, he'd been doing it uh, for about a year before I set him on, so a lot of the, the basics were covered. I just wanted to make sure that he does it the way I want it doing, yeah. you know. Um, Which so is common, a, a lot of details. Yeah, you got to, you know, everyone does it it's slightly bit different, but you know, I, I can vouch for the way I do it, and you know, I want to make sure that he does it the same as, as what I'm doing. Absolutely. So, um, quick get to know your questions. Yeah. Favorite car you've ever detailed? Uh, Audi RS six is my favorite. Which generation? Um, I think there were like 17 plates, something like that. Oh, okay, so, so you're talking C7, I would guess. Yeah. It's the one with the 4-litre turbos. Right. 4-litre twin turbo, very sexy. The reason why I quite like those is um, one of the owners, I said, why did you buy one of these? He said, because you can race a Lamborghini and you can get a Christmas tree in it. That's and that's, his, that's the reason. And then he sent me a picture this year of him with a Christmas tree poking out the back of his RS6. And that's quite something. And would you drive yourself? I only, unfortunately, have vans. Nah, no. I used to. I sold that. I had two vans. I used to have a nice BMW. Sold that. Used the money to oh, in nice the business. Oh, nice BMW. I haven't heard of one of those before. What, what, what model is a nice I had BMW? a, a 120D, the coupe. The one series coupe. Oh. So it's, I had white. It was three years old. It was amazing. Uh, but sold. I sold that to buy an Audi A5. Okay. Uh, I wanted a three litre Quattro, but I enjoyed seeing the money in the bank. And then that was just as I was sort of turning, making more full time. 
So I thought, hang on, shall I just blow it all on an A5 or shall I invest it in the business? And you made the right decision. Um, but I've got a Suzuki Swift Sport now. They, I really rate those. Is that the new with the booster jet or is that the it previous is the, jet? It's the old, yeah, it's the old, Which slightly old one. I quite like, they're still very light, naturally aspirated, they're really cool. Okay, so, yeah. all money in the world, what would your dream car be? I'm an Aston Martin man. We've got a DB11 coming in in the next week, okay. which might get one of these coatings on or maybe one of the uh, the G-Technique Ultra, yes. because obviously I'll be able to do that from tomorrow or whenever it is. So Yeah, literally Andrew's going from this place, <laughs> you're on a train or something to Northampton. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Tomorrow um, tomorrow morning I'll be at G-Technique getting why, accredited there. Why did you bring there, the Swift? So. The Swift is perfect for London. You can zip in and out of places I've, like Rather embarrassing, it's half wrapped. I ran, okay. I'm wrapping it and I've half wrapped it and I've run out of wrap. So now I'm getting called uh, Noddy because the bumpers and the roof are all a different colour to the rest. That's why they're calling you Noddy. That's why they're calling you Noddy. It's definitely because of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, okay. it. that's it. Definitely. But yeah, we've got a DB11 coming in. It's like a burnt orange kind of colour and cool. black. So that looks that looks amazing. So if anybody is looking to get their car detailed yeah. in Sheffield, yeah. um, how do they get in contact with you? Um, you can go on our website. Um, if you put in car detailing Sheffield, we'll pop up first. Uh, we've got Good the work. most reviews on there, we've only got five star reviews. So yeah, just go through that, our phone number's on there. Um, and you offer the full, obviously the full suite of correctional detailing. Yeah, we, we do everything, we do everything from a single stage. We, we basically tell anyone to come down, bring the car, we'll assess it and then we'll, based on how the car currently is, we will apply that to one of the, the packages. Uh, we use the G-Technique pricing structure, yeah. so you can flow through it, the size of the car, you know, how new it is, the issues it's got, choose the coatings, and at the bottom it tells you how much it is, and that's how much it is. You know? It's a really good system. The G-Technique website's well worth looking at, um, from the point of view as an end user, but also as a detailer, so you can yeah. work out, make sure you're costing. I mean, a lot of people are asking us, you know, how much do I charge for this? And we say, look, work out your overheads, work out how long it's gonna take, work out your chem costs, right. and then work out what you want to take away from the life, but then allow a contingency. Yeah, exactly. You're always yeah. going to need it. Um, with the GTEC system, I've, I've looked at the price. It's really good. Yeah. That is really good. So it's, yeah, it's and, good I, and I've been creeping up towards that for quite a few years because I knew it's, it's sort of one of the fundamentals of being accredited is that you use their pricing. So I didn't want to be sort of half that and then jump up to the the full price. So I've, I've, I've nudged it up, nudged it up, nudged it up, and when I set on. Um, me hire works for me. That's when I made that final 10% jump or whatever it was to be their price. So it slowly crept it up over uh, two years or something like that. Which is good because that is um, kind of correlates with your experience going up. Yeah. So that you know that works really really well. Um, and you know as your experience goes up, your skills are worth more to the end yeah. user. So you still. And my overheads go up as well. They so, do indeed. So that's yeah. another reason to, to jump it up as well. But no, it's quite. I'm quite happy with their with their pricing, and it also backs up why you're charging what you're charging. If you, I, I feel if you just throw a number out to maybe someone who's new to detailing, they don't know that you're gonna spend three or four days on it and you just hit them with a big, you know, it could be a thousand pounds and then, yeah. you know, it, it can freak them out a little bit. Whereas if you can work through it with them, and what I tell people is if someone brings me a huge car and they want the best coatings, it's gonna be a decent amount of money. But then I'll, I'll be able to show them, look, if you had brought me a newer, smaller car, it would have been maybe half what it is. And, and people go, okay, yeah, fair enough. Well, we were talking to, it to James Walker about it with PPF, because PPF right. is even more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he was saying, yes, but actually, relative to the value of the car, right. it's not a big step. You know, if you've got yeah. a £200,000 car and you're asking for 10 grand or yeah. 7 grand for a top right. end total PPF and all the rest of it, actually, as a percentage, it's not too much. You know what? That is exactly what I do. I mean, all day long, you might say to someone, look, it's £900, I get it. But you have a 90,000 pound car. I mean, I'm not great at maths, but isn't that like 1%? I think so. I think so, right? Yes, we're we'll going to say 1% and we'll right. check it and I'll dub it if yeah. we're wrong. Anyway, on that note, yeah. um, we shall end it because I can see the guys are still doing some coating and you probably need to be involved and, and, and do some touching and Yeah, because I have stuff. to be on a train in a few hours as well. So. You do? Would you like a lift? Oh, that'd be very nice. That'd be good. We can't go all the way to Sheffield, I don't have no. paperwork, but we can get you to the train station. Sounds good. Andrew, cool. it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank Cheers. You.